We've gone through the various tools and created a variety of different outputs. In the earlier sessions, we discussed how the dashboard can bring together various outputs so we can review them together. Let's create a dashboard and add some of the analyses to the dashboard to review them together. In order to create a dashboard, I will click on Add. Then we should give the dashboard a name. Once we give the dashboard a name, we should click on Create. You can see that the new dashboard appears here at the top next to the other dashboards that are available for this particular user. We can then add items by searching for them in the search field. Through the previous examples, we would have used our username to save our favorites. If I search for my username, I can see the different favorites that I've created. If I want to add them to the dashboard, I will click on Add next to the favorite name. If I click on the favorite itself, it will take me directly to the application where the favorite has been made. So we want to make sure that we click on add instead of the favorite name. Let's add in the other favorites that we've created. We just search for them and click on add. There's a couple other features to this dashboard. We can resize each dashboard item. I can do this by clicking on Resize. We can also remove the individual dashboard items. If we click on Explore, this will take us directly to the application where the dashboard item was made. In this example, it will take me directly to the data visualizer and open up this particular favorite. We can also share interpretations. We can write an interpretation directly on the dashboard by clicking on Share Interpretation. Here we can then add our interpretation. The dashboard will actually reload, and then we will be able to see the interpretation directly on the dashboard. We can also share this entire dashboard with other users just like we shared individual favorites. If I click on Share here, this will pull up the menu to share this dashboard. We can then share this with other users in the system. We simply search for the user group, we add it to our sharing settings, and then we define the permissions that that user group has in relation to the dashboard. Once we're done selecting our user groups and defining their permissions, we click on Save. This user should now be able to see the dashboard that I've shared with them. Let's test this out. I've logged out of the user which created the dashboard. I'm now going to log into a user that's part of the user group in which I shared the dashboard that I created. We can see that when I log into that user, the dashboard I created does appear for that user. Let's log into another user to ensure that this is not shared with the entire system. We can see that this particular user doesn't actually see that dashboard which I've created. We're going to log back in to the original user that created this dashboard. We can see now that by using sharing, we can manage both the individual favorites and the dashboards that users see when they log in to DHIS2. Note that we can also delete this dashboard by going to Manage, 
and then deleting the current dashboard. Here in Manage, we can also rename the dashboard, add messages to the dashboard, and add translations for the current dashboard.